Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. As you can see, I am on the title screen, not the, the starting a new game screen for Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, the reason for that is I had recorded two experiment episodes, uh, one in Lake Lamode and one in Steam Gardens. Uh, when I went to try to upload one of them today, I found that there was something wrong and it glitched up, the audio was missing. Um, that also affected some of my Ace Attorney videos, which is really annoying because that means I have to replay a whole case, but whatever. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do in this video is get back to Lake Lamode, and I'm going to try to do it as a bit of a speedrun sort of thing, because I want to get there as quickly as possible. I, th I thought I'd do it on camera, and I also might try to go coinless. We'll see how we go. Uh, coinless is hard, so... Uh, I might actually go coinless. See how we do. <laughs> uh, you can't skip past this screen. You can skip this one. And then it loads here. There we go. You can't skip this animation either. You've got to watch this. Hey, Cappy. I love you, baby girl. Hey, sweetie pumpkin. You actually need to follow Cappy, you just need to go to where she, you're going to meet up with her, because even if you manage to go fast enough, it won't do anything until you get to the right spot anyway. So yeah, I'm not like a professional speedrunner or anything. I know some of the strats, but I don't know enough to be able to do a real speedrun. But, you know, I'm going to have some fun. So yeah, first thing we got to do is just go over here, hit this switch, so we can get to the tower. Uh, we're going to try for coinless, so I won't attack these enemies, because if you kill an enemy, you get their coin. I'm not going to do Frogless this time. There we go. Skip the movie. Because, yeah, if I were tried to go for Frogless, it would take a ridiculously long time because Frogless is so, like, precise to do that one jump there. Uh, so, yeah. Oh no, a coin! Okay, Coinless is over. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not going to reset or anything, I'm just going to keep going. I believe what speedrunners do here is jump uh, this direction, I think? Yeah. I think if you do a triple jump off of this piece is what, how it works. Also there's another coin, so yeah, we're not doing great for coinless here. There we go, that's how you do it. I didn't do it perfectly, but you get the idea. <laughs> then we could do this battle. So yeah, we're not doing coinless, we're just doing a bit of a little speedrun. Uh, again, I'm not a pro speedrunner or anything, so this isn't going to be super impressive, but I'm going to have some fun, so that's all that matters. Uh, it's this one. There we go. Stat battle's over. Uh, what about three minutes in, I believe? We started at approximately one minute into the video. We're at four now, so yeah, about three minutes in. That's good. <laughs> I guess I'll try to do Dino Skip. Um, you can't do Dino Skip in a coinless run because you have to break some like rocks and stuff to make the dinosaur get through. Um, but since you know I've already gotten some coins, we're not doing a coinless run. I may as well. Uh, all right. So yeah, skip the movie. Skip the movie. Skip the movie. Okay. Uh, you can't skip this. You just gotta listen to that little bit of dialogue there. Okay, um, we're not going to do first moon skip because we need the first moon to get out of here anyway because we are on the latest version of the game. I believe it's 1.3. So we're going to do the first moon nice and quick. There we go. Then we have to go do uh, dino skip. Or, you know, I guess 2D section skip is what it really is if you think about it. 
our first power moon. There we go. Then we have to do the one, the um, boss battle on top of the falls against Madame Brood. You can't skip this cutscene either. This is one of the reasons first moon skip is so good on the versions of the game where it's allowed because there's a lot of cutscenes there, including this dialogue as well. Lots of stuff that you can't skip uh, that slows you down. But of course, in this version of the game, we can't do it. So, okay, uh, this cutscene as well. Happy wants to tell us about the globe, but that's okay. Uh, then we want to head off this way. We don't need to actually activate the globe until we're ready, which we're not just yet. So yes, yeah, head over here. Get the dino. There we go. Okay, then you want to hit the trampoline, uh, which is underneath these rocks over here. There we go. Dino skip. Executed perfectly. First try. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this boss battle, you just want to capture this chain chomp here. Little chompikins. And launch it into her face a couple of times. This is the most efficient way to do the battle, but you know, whatever. Should be okay. Okay, you'll notice we one moon short after we do this because we, we need five and we'll have four. Uh, there's one particular moon that speedrunners usually go for. I'll be going for that one, so you'll see what it is in a second. There we go. Once I've got this moon. Then we get the Tost Arena, which is where. I'm likely to lose a lot of time relative to a real speed run because Tost Arena has so many options and I do not know the optimal strats. So I am going to need to, um, yeah, we've got to get one more moon here. Uh, we're going to go for, you'll see the one I'm thinking of pretty soon. It's very close to where we land. Outside the Odyssey over here. Oh, dang it. That's not a good start. There we go, there's this one. Ba -da -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah. Uh, you can get to there faster if you don't mess up the jump, but I think I didn't lose too much time there. Okay. So that fills that up all the way. Which gives us enough power to make it to Tost Arena. You can't skip this, by the way. Heck, it sure is. I really like the music in that cutscene, but we're gonna skip it. Yep, 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 yep. Cappy's gonna tell us about ground pounding. I think it's randomized what tip you get, but... Yeah, basic, same basic idea. The action guide opens up, closes it immediately. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're going to the Sand Kingdom. Sand Kingdom, Sand Kingdom. Okay, here we are in the Sand Kingdom. Uh, again, I don't know the route for this kingdom, so I'll do what I can. Uh, see how quickly I can do this. I think... The the first thing to target will be that moon on top of the building there in Tostarina Town. So let's head for that one. <laughs> yeah! I think the next thing speedrunners would usually do is head this way. 
Uh, I mentioned this in one of my other experiment videos. What they do is get on this icicle here. Which I'm trying to do, if I can just line myself up, right? There we go. Because then you can just get up here very quickly without needing to mess around with bullets and stuff. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's two. Uh... Bit of a shortcut here you can take without too much trouble. There we go. Flipping that was probably wasting a bit of time. I didn't really need to open the gate there. Uh, over here there's another moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! There's a moon over here. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, there's some more moons down here that are pretty easy to get, so let's go grab them. We follow, lead this bullet here through here. And then over here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, and then we want to jump over there to get that one. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, I forget if this is the right bullet to use for... Let's give it a try. No, that is the wrong bullet. <laughs> I think you need to use the other one to get up there. It's a bit higher. So, um, that's my first death. Um, which isn't something you want to have happen when you're doing a speed run. Uh, you want to avoid that as much as possible, so... That's less than ideal. Uh. Okay, so we want to get this one. Which can get us over to here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, it can also get us over to there, but it's probably faster to get something else at this point. Uh, there's, there's actually a clip you can do with the Sphinx there, but I don't know how to do it. It is a much faster way to get some of these moons, though. You can clip inside the wall behind the Sphinx to get into this room much more quickly. Uh, and also to get into the room behind the Sphinx, without talking to her. Or them. Pew pew pew. Yeah, I won't do the other riddle because that's much longer, but I will get this one. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Yeah, again, I have no idea what the most ideal route is. I'm guessing it's probably not involving going all the way over here, because it's kind of slow, and you don't need to go here for the normal storyline. Uh, also, oh no, it is open. It looked like, it looked like the, the ice was frozen over the door, but it wasn't. Uh, the optimal way to do this room is to ignore the bullets. Let's get up here. <laughs> Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. You can climb back up here like this. And just keep going this way. So yeah, this is going to be much faster than going through the maze, obviously. 
Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, we're getting there. See that um, long jumping actually dramatically slows you down if you're going fast while rolling, which is interesting. So yeah, you're supposed to capture those guys with the sunglasses so you can see where the platforms are, but you don't have to at all, which is kind of funny. <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, let me see, what next? Uh, yeah, I know I can warp. Uh, hmm, take me back here, let's go to the Oasis. I'm pretty sure this isn't the optimal route by any means, but you know, I'm having some fun. That's all that really matters. And this is not going to be a long video, but like at all, because I need to stop as soon as we have enough moons, and I'm nearly there. <laughs> so here's the oasis. Uh, we can't do some stuff here yet because everything's frozen, but we can get this. I can point to the right spot. Yeah, and we can go do the musical notes as well. Gives us another moon. Uh, we're still a short one. We obviously can't buy a moon. Uh, Considering that, yeah. There we go. Easy peasy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay, what's the fastest one? Um, I think I probably want to go to that big hill over there next. Oh, actually, it's much faster to go to this one. Uh, if we just come around to the side of... Uh, if we possibly don't bonk. But if we go around the side here, we can get into the shop through this back entrance. And get a moon. And that's all the moons we need. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, and that's time. So that's just shy of 16 minutes. Nice. Uh, cool. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I've now caught up, so in the next video I can redo Lake Lamode and get that part done, uh, and then Steam Gardens, I can redo that as well. I used a couple of interesting strats, um, not necessarily in Lake Lamo, but in Steam Gardens I used an interesting speedrun strat you might enjoy, so you'll see. Um, I've already conducted the experiment, so I know what's going to happen, uh, unlike with, say, this one where I was doing something new. Uh, hey, you. Heck yeah. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. I guess we'll grab an extra room while we're here. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and yeah, next time we'll do Lake Lamode again, and then Steam Gardens, and etc. Um, and I also need to redo most of Reunion and Turnabout in my Ace Attorney, so... Thankfully the, the game has a fast forward feature, but it's not as fast as I would like. I mean, it's a lot faster, but you still have to go through the entire case to get to the end, so it's annoying. But I'll, I'll, I'll manage. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!